I, I personally love our state so much having, you know, grown up and born and raised here and, but um, have such a wonderful opportunity to, you know, through my job, be able to promote our state as a, as a place for people to come. I'm not just a vacation, but to live. My family says, when I get on an airplane, I kind of beg for that center seat because I want to tell the person next to me how great our state is. <laughs> it's just a lot of different things, different ways that I kind of ended up in, in this position. But, um, you know, it was being a business owner, you know, being a CPA, a variety of experience, and just sort of being in the right place at the right time. Every single day is through a lens of growing our economy, making Vermont affordable, and protecting the most vulnerable. And, you know, in terms of what I've done throughout my career to, to prepare for this, um, after graduating from college, I worked for uh, KPMG, which is an international accounting firm. And I did a variety of different uh, types of audits. Uh, one of the areas that I tended to be assigned to the most was government accounting, uh, government audits. Early on, I was exposed to uh, auditing programs. Uh, for example, uh, the community, community Development Block Grant, which is in the, one of the de uh, departments that I oversee now. I audited that when I was a 21-year-old, understanding the financial aspects of government. And government accounting is, is kind of confusing. You know, when I started working for the Scott administration, I brought to this job a real variety of, of work ethic and a variety of experience. I don't think that I would be able to do the job I have now if I hadn't been willing to try different things and get outside my comfort zone. And um, I really have jumped outside my comfort zone. And I have to tell you that being working in state government really pushes me outside my comfort zone every single day. And so I'm grateful for that experience that I've had along the way um, to, to get here. Their people, the people of Vermont and their capacity to serve and care for others and their commitment to preserve and protect our beautiful landscape. I think, you know, we see time and time again, um, especially coming right out of this latest crisis, the COVID pandemic, we saw where Vermonters once again, we're willing to prioritize public health, even though it meant sacrificing, whether it was their own livelihoods, um, the own, their own things that they really love to do, um, but to make sure that we kept Vermonters alive. And so it's just, it, it really showed us how strong Vermonters are and how much they care about each other. And so it makes me really grateful to be here and, and to live in the state. small size enables us to be incredibly nimble and we're able to pivot fairly quickly when we need to adjust to something. And so again, I'll kind of go back to this, this crisis that we've just, you know, I, I hope is in the rear view mirror for us. But when I look back, they came together and they worked together to create guide guidance and thoughtful approaches that would enable us to reopen schools and reopen our economy in a slow, methodical way that, it, that allowed us to do it so that we wouldn't keep starting and stopping, right? And so I think Vermont really led the way and the country, um, you know, maybe there were other places that did some of it well too, but I think broadly, they could learn from Vermont, right? Because we really, we, we, we set aside, you know, our, our fears, we set aside our differences and we, we took it slow and we were successful. I have racked my brain and I know that I'm supposed to say that we can learn from the rest of the country, but I am really struggling. <laughs> I was traveling and I was in the um, Vancouver airport and uh, Vancouver, uh, there are a lot of uh, Asians are, have, um, have moved to Vancouver. And I was in the airport and I, I literally had this moment where I was, I, f I, for the first time in my life, I felt, I truly felt what it must feel like to be in the minority. As I sat there, I did not understand what anybody around me was saying. I didn't look like anybody around me. 
And I, I actually said to my husband, I completely get it right now. I 100% get it. And I have always thought that I've gotten it, but I was like, I get it. You know what I mean? It's like when you, when you're sitting there, you're like, I don't know what anybody around me is saying. I don't look like anybody right now. Right. And, and there's those moments where you're like, oh my gosh. And to your point in Vermont, right? Like we don't have a lot of diversity. <laughs> we really don't, you know?